What's up, everybody? Welcome into another JHow Tech Tip, where we're going to discuss how to set up Discord bots. Look, this is one of the easiest things you can do, but it is a little confusing if you're not as familiar with Discord. If you're looking to figure out how to set up Discord or a server for the first time, check the description below for a video I have on that. But let's get into how to set up the bots, because that's what you're really here for. So maybe you've invested some time into somebody else's Discord or you're looking to evolve some of your own. You see that they have cool bots, they have different things you can do with it. And to be honest with you, the more interaction you can have with your own server means that you're going to get and keep people around. So ways to get bots. Well, there's several links out there and it's very easy to type in Discord bots, but we're gonna pull up one in particular. It's just top.gg where we can look at some Discord bots. You can see the popularity and get an idea for what's going on. I just filtered by top so that I could figure out which one are the top voted ones. And this is how it's done. Now, all you have to do is invite the bot to your server. Now that's easy in theory, because that's the easiest way to get it done. Let's say we want to add the dank memer here, which we can see is very popular. We're just going to hit invite. Now, when you hit invite, you're going to get a different window to where you can authorize this. Now, if you're part of different discords where you're having an admin role, then things can be very different. Mine is just gonna be the J house because that's what we go by and that's ours. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna go through here. Sometimes there'll be a little quirky thing in terms of what it does, but basically it's granted access so that it can actually function. And all you're going to do is authorize, make sure and get through that. And it's as simple as that. Now, once we take a look back at the Discord, I can go into, as you can see, I have bot. Bot will be the tag beside each of these and you can see what is where there's going to be different things you can do obviously i've experimented with some different audio apps but you can see the dank memer bot is here now that's great because while well, it's there but it does require a little bit of work for everybody to go through and to try and figure it out now for me another bot that i like to use is rhythm it allows me to share music with other people in those voice channels so they can listen to what i'm listening to and if you're trying to figure out how to do these most of the sites that once you click on them will have different commands as you can see the commands are here you can get the basics, you can get the introduction, you can get a lot of different things. Same for the dank memer, is that you can check out the commands and kind of figure all of this out. And once you get in here, it's very easy to see that if I want to and I wanna go here, obviously I'm the only one that can type into here, I can just hit play exclamation point. Each of them have a different command that kind of initiates what you want to do. And that's all I'm really looking to do. How do I change this? How can I do different things? And all of these should have their own website to where it shows how to manually change a lot of those things. Because without that, you kind of have a bot that you don't know what to do with. To be fair, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are involved in other discords. They know how it works. And so inherently, it's going to be there. I like to put something in my announcement so that people have the FAQ so that they can go and figure it out figure out how certain things work. So there are different roles in terms of what other people can do within those roles. And there are limitations to different bots in terms of what works and what doesn't work. So a lot of that is up to you in terms of what you want to share, but it does require you to actually go through and make all the changes and the settings. But it's really that simple to set up bots, to just add different things. You invite them to your server, you set them up. And if you wanna get some info on them, you can click on it. Look, it's not hard to go through and just say, hey, what can I do? How can I figure this out to just search Discord bots? There's gonna be a list. It's just as easy as that to figure out where it's at. Find your favorite link, look at the different add-ons, see what they do for you, invite them, add them to your server, and then of course, customize them after so that everybody gets the maximum experience. If you're going out of your way this far to figure out what Discord bots are and setting them up, it means that you're dedicated to your server and well, you should invest the rest of the time to make sure that they're set up properly. But that's it, that's how you set it up. It's easy, it's simple, it's quick, and you get it all going. Just put in a little bit of time, give it a little bit of love, show your Discord users that you actually care and build something from the ground up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, feel free to hit that like button or comment below what you liked or some other tips that you might wanna share with other users as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.